Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is a static electricity butterfly. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is tissue paper, tape, scissors, balloon, and paper. So there's two different ways we can do this. This one, I'm going to cut out the tissue paper to be the same exact size uh, as the, the uh, paper itself. This way, um, once I get the tissue paper cut out, I'm going to show you how I tape that onto a regular piece of paper and uh, able to put it into my printer. And so I could use a template for a butterfly um, that I'm going to use in the experiment. So you want to cut the tissue paper just a tad smaller than the paper itself. You don't want it uh, larger than the piece of paper you're using for your printer. And then once that's cut out, uh, we're going to take some scotch tape and very thin pieces uh, we're going to tape three pieces on the top uh, of the paper and it'll hold down the the tissue paper so you're able to print it out so um, you go ahead and take your scotch tape a little piece and roll it up uh, so it's back and forth like it's two-sided or use two-sided tape and then um, just put that on one corner and then you're going to repeat this process to the middle and then also to the far side of the other side of the tissue paper and then you're going to stick that onto the regular paper and then I'll show you how to print it out from there. So there's the middle and then I'm going to do one more piece um, to the outside uh, and um, put that there. So I have three pieces of tape as you can see right here and now I'm going to stick that um, tissue paper onto the um, regular piece of paper that I want to put into the printer. So very carefully uh, align it to the top of the paper and make sure it's uh, spread out evenly and then just press down on those three pieces. Very important that that piece goes into your printer first, um, otherwise it won't work. Um, and then it should just pull it all the way through. So once you have your pattern up, here's my printer. And then I put the paper in already and it's starting to print. You have to make sure if it reverses on the other side, which side you need to put in. But once it comes out, um, as it's coming out now, uh, then your uh, template that you had uh, put into Word or uh, Pages is out. And then carefully, you just need to remove the three pieces of tape or cut it out uh, with a scissor. Um, and then you've got your butterfly wings. The second way, um, and uh, you can trace it yourself. Or the third way, which I don't show you, you could just be creative um, and draw the butterfly yourself. Anyway, I'm showing you here that I'm just going to trace it. So you put down the tissue paper and then uh, trace out the butterfly you want. You could go into as much detail as you want. You do need the body piece um, cut out. Th this whole wings need to be cut out as one piece. So uh, though we're not cutting out the whole body, uh, we're, we're going to want to cut out uh, the wings itself. Um, I mean the body itself, the base in between the wings, as you'll see in just a second. Uh, because we need to put it down as one whole and then you need to print out the body separately um, to hold down uh, the wings uh, for the experiment. So once that's all completely there, um, now I'm going to uh, cut it out. You can see I drew that extra line for the body piece. I didn't draw the whole body because I don't need that for this piece. Um, I just need the in-between part of it uh, so I can actually... Um, uh, you know hold, hold it down as one you don't want to have not have the body there and then you cut it out and you cut it into two different pieces it wouldn't work uh, this way uh, when we cut it out we're able to um, have it as one piece so we go ahead and cut this all the way through and I'll come back in just a second and here we are I got it all the way cut out and so now I just laid on the table and then um, I've already pre-cut um, you want to make sure your, your, your tissue is flat. You don't want it folding up. There's a crease in there. You want to make sure it's flat. I cut out the body right here. I printed it out and cut it on cardstock. I put three pieces of the tape, uh, double-sided tape, uh, and one on the bottom. And then I'm able to uh, put this over the wings, and it will hold down my wings for the experiment. So like I said, you want to make sure the tissue is completely flat put that there remember I had tape on the top part of uh, there and on the bottom and so now it's secure now you could be more creative and put more designs on the wings also you want to tape the body down um, on the sides so here again once again I've already printed out uh, 
the version here um, of the body. So I'm going to put the body now, same thing, the three pieces of uh, tape on top and one on the bottom. And then I will show you here that I'm going to put a, another piece of tape to hold it down. You can see it kind of wants to slide around. Um, so uh, I'm going to put a couple pieces of tape to hold that piece of the body down. And then once I get just like this, this way now the wings won't slide back and forth uh, for the experiment. And now we're completely set up and we're ready to do the experiment. So you need to positively charge the balloon up either on your hair or on a carpet. And then when you bring the balloon down, you can see uh, it actually, the butterfly grabs onto the balloon. And when you do it a second time, it's not as much charged on the balloon. So you have to recharge the balloon up and this time using the yellow one and it wants to grab it. It's impressive. Well, why does the butterfly's wings move? Well, when you rub the balloon on your hair or on the blanket or a carpet, the electrons that lost from your hair are gained onto the balloon, giving it a static charge, known as static electricity. When the negative charged balloon gets close to the positively charged tissue paper, they attract to one another, and the pull of the attraction is so great that the lightweight tissue moves towards the balloon. You have to recharge it every time. This is a pretty cool hands-on experiment. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.